Good morning, students. Today we are going to start your new chapter, Fun with Textbook. So you all of you are familiar with how to draw and color in Microsoft Paint, and it was a great fun also. Today we are going to learn about another interesting drawing program that is your Text Paint. So to download the Text Paint, you can simply click on any browser, your web browser, and you can search for download Text Paint, and you can get the setup file from the internet. So we are going to discuss first how to start the Tux Paint. So to start the Tux Paint, you have to first click on the Start button, and you can scroll for the Tux Paint program in your list. There is another the shortcut method also. You can simply click on the search box, and you can type over there Tux Paint, and you will see the search options will appear on your screen. Either you can click on Windowed option, or you can click on the full screen option. So I'll prefer opening the full screen mode so that we can clearly see the Tux Paint window. So it will take a few minutes to upload. So this is your main Tux Paint window that will open on your computer screen. So first we will discuss about the parts of Tux Paint window. So you can see on your left hand side, you can see this is the toolbox. So this whole thing is known as your toolbox. So the toolbox of Tux Paint has various tools in it. These tools are divided into two categories. First is drawing tool, and the second is commands. First, we will discuss about the drawing tools. So there are total seven drawing tools in the Tux Paint. We will see what all they are. First, it is Paint tool. So this Paint tool is used to draw free from drawing. So when you want to do a freehand drawing or free from drawing, you can click on the Paint tool. Second type of drawing tool we are having is Stamp tool. This helps you to add ready-made images to your drawing. So you have to download another setup file to install the stamps in Tux Paint. Then we have Lines tool. This line tool helps in drawing straight lines. Next, we have Shapes tool. This tool is used for drawing different filled and unfilled shapes. So you can draw a circle, you can draw a triangle, you can draw a rectangle using the Shapes tool. Next tool we will see is the Text tool. So this text tool lets you enter text into your drawing. So when you want to enter a text in your drawing, you can go for the text tool option. Next we have magic tool. So this magic tool lets you add beautiful effects to your drawing. Then we have eraser tool. This eraser tool is used to erase any part of your drawing. So these all are the seven parts or the tools of your drawing tools. Next, we'll come to the second, that is commands. So there are total four commands that are present in your Tux Paint window. The first one we will discuss is new. You can see this is your new command. So clicking on this command, you can start a new drawing. If you want to start a new drawing, you will click on this command. Next, we have save command. You can see over here, this is the save command. It is used to save your drawing or to save your pictures. Next command is open. This command is used to open the saved pictures. Next we have quit option. So it is used to close the Tux Paint program. So these are the four commands that are in your syllabus. Next coming to the options box. So you can see the option box is display the sub options of the tool you select. Now suppose I select the paint option and you will see there is a option box that appears on my right hand side. It is also known as selector box. It has up and down arrow buttons. You can see we have over here arrow button, down arrow button and this is your up arrow button. So these buttons are used to scroll through all the options. So when you want to go through all the options, you can click on the up or the down arrow. So this is your options box. Next, talking about the drawing area. 
So you can see this white space in between the tools and the selector box. This white space where you can draw and color is known as your canvas or the drawing area. So we call it as drawing area or we can call it as canvas. So this is a part of your tux paint window. In the last we will discuss about the color palette. You can see at the bottom of your window you have so many color palette present over here. You can use various colors from the palette to fill color in shape or your drawings. So this is all about the parts of tux paint window. Now we'll see how we can add a new drawing into our tux paint program. So the tux paint have various ready made drawings in it. These drawings are called starters. So to add a starter you have to first click on the new tool in the toolbox. So I'll click on this new tool in the toolbox and you can see in the middle section of the window you will see boxes with color background. Okay. So these boxes are called canvases. So all these colored are your canvases. You can click on the down arrow. You can see there is a down arrow present over here. You can click on this down arrow to see more ready made drawings. So there are ready made drawings present over here. Click to select any ready made drawing. So if you want to select any drawing you can simply click on it and you can click on option. Over here you can click and you can click on this open option that is present on your left hand side. So I'll click on this open button and you will see the canvas will open or the starter will open on your window. Okay. So if you do not want to click on the open button, you can simply double click on the drawing also. The selected canvas will appear on the drawing. So you can either click on the open button or you can click on the drawing with the double click. Now this is your new drawing that have been added on your canvas. Next we'll see how we can color a drawing. Now suppose you want to draw a fish or you want to color a fish. How you can color it? So to color ready made drawing first we'll click on the magic tool. Now suppose there is a magic tool over here. You can click on it and you can see there are so many options fill option that are present. You can select any fill effect from the selector box. Okay. So suppose your fill option is not present in the selector box. You can click on the down button also to find the options. But this is the latest version of my tux paint. So my fill option is already present in the toolbox. So I'll click on this fill option. If you're not having a latest version then it will be present in the selector box. But mine it is present in the toolbox. So I'll click on this fill button over here or fill effect over here. And you can choose or select any color from the color palette. Now you bring the pointer and suppose I want to click on this option. So let it be this light pink color. So I'll click on the pink color over here and you can click inside the area where you wish to fill the color. Now suppose I want to fill over here. So I'll just click on this and you will see my face has been turned into the light pink color which I have selected from the color palette. So this is how you can color a drawing. Next your last topic is how to save a drawing. To save a drawing in tux paint you can simply click on this save button or the save tool and you can see your drawing have been saved into your tux paint program. So this is all about your today's lecture. So hope students you install the tux paint into your Chrome computer and you will try it at your home and enjoying coloring and drawing. So till then thank you.